Today we have a working sample from Bloom Manufacturing of the Aventos HL Lift Up Hardware System like you see right here. It's up and out of the way. Now this is uh, very practical in um, like an appliance garage in the corner in your kitchen or you could use it in some uppers where you have high ceilings. Uh, they're frequently used in pantries. So a lot of applications where this type of lift up hardware will work. And Woodworkers Hardware has put all of the components into one bundle where normally you would have to buy a stabilizer rod, a lift mechanism, assembly rods, uh, all in uh, different uh, packages, but it's all in one bundle for you now. Um, you can put it in a cabinet from here to here that's 22 inches high, and you can go all the way out to, to almost six feet. But with the components that you get in the bundle, the maximum width of your um, cabinet opening is 46 and a half inches. Uh, that's what comes in the bundle. And as far as the depth from the front to the back, you've got 11 inches. What I want to demonstrate today is how easy it is uh, to assemble this, uh, to put the pieces together. There's, it is just so simple. So watch this video and uh, see how simple it is. There are also some directions on the Woodworkers website. Uh, if you look up the bundles and you'll see uh, additional instructions on how to install. Well, uh, let's get started. I'm going to disassemble this real fast and then put it back together uh, slowly so you can see how easy it is. There are two five millimeter holes in the cabinet. Uh, the, the instructions are fairly simple where to drill them. They're five millimeters in diameter. One here at the tip of that blue arrow and one there. They receive um, the um, little mounting studs that are on the lift mechanism. And the hardest part of putting the lift mechanism in this piece is getting those locator pins lined up with the holes. They're invisible. Now we're going to attach the assembly arms. I thought the manufacturer's animation would go along real good with the actual installation so you can see up close how that locks together. So that's the uh, left side and uh, now we're going to put on the one on the right side. And the same thing, the animation sort of makes it a little clearer what's going on there when we install those pieces. It's pretty easy to do. It's lifting up that locks it in. There. Now the stabilizer rod is the next thing. That needs to be cut for your cabinet and the cutting length is the width of the inside of your cabinet minus 129 millimeters or 5 and a 16th inches for the stabilizer rod. We can put the cover caps on. I'm a little slow at that and then when those are done we'll attach the door. Look how easy this is to attach this door to those. Uh, the, mounting, the mounting plates are attached to the door and then we go to the stabilizer arm and it just clips on there so nice. It's a real good application. See how it just sits right in spot, right wherever you want it. Nice application. Now let's watch this animation from Bloom attaching the mounting plates. Here's the instructions. Um, that's on the website as well on Woodworkers Hardware and you can get a, blow it up a little better and look at it along with other things. So the mounting plates are attached to the door and then the, uh, as you already saw uh, the door then is attached to the lift arms. 
Here's uh, adjusting the uh, tension on the lift mechanism so the door doesn't slam down or spring up. But usually, uh, use a drill here because you need to, it needs to turn pretty fast. Using a screwdriver is just way too slow. And then adjust to whatever tension you want on that lift mechanism. Perfect. Now, perhaps your door is standing away from the cabinet too far. And you want to solve that problem, and you go to the um, arm assemblies, and there on the arm assembly on the top screw, you can see how you can adjust that and close the gap between the door and the cabinet. Here is uh, uh, an animation of how you can shift the door from the left to the right. And that's a screw on the mounting plate. You go through that access hole, do it on both sides. And now the up and down adjustment. Again, onto the assembly arm and turn the screw. And that's, that's pretty much how you do the HL Aventos lift up system. Put the cover caps on and it's done. Well, I uh, hope you found this uh, video useful. And if you did, give us the thumbs up, share it with your friends. and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.